it's Lauren and today I'm going to be opening up the Magical Creatures Accio box. This is a really great fan-made Harry Potter subscription box full of handmade and really thoughtful items. It's also vegan and cruelty free. I applied to be a rep because I love this subscription service so much. Basically that just means that I get the box for free in exchange for showing it to you and if you use my code LaurenFairWX you'll get 15% off your first box in a month-to-month -month subscription and I'll get a small commission if you do. But I decided to do that totally on my own because I love this box so much and the people who make it are really wonderful and so yeah. I've been especially excited for this box to arrive because I really love magical creatures and so let's see what's in here. Aww. So the first thing that I saw when I opened this box is a card that says find Dougal on it. And on the back it talks a little bit about the campaign that this box is raising money for. This campaign is being run by the Protego Foundation, which is an animal rights group. The first Fantastic Beasts film, Dougal is a demiguise. He looks a little bit like a chimp. So the Protego Foundation is working to educate the Wizarding World fandom on how they can use Newt's rescue of Dougal to help chimpanzees in our world. So they've partnered with Save the Chimps to raise money for this chimpanzee sanctuary. So on top of being vegan and cruelty free, they're also raising money to save chimpanzees. Okay, now I'm gonna look and see what's in the box. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is so clever. Probably my favorite thing about this box is the way that they interpret the wizarding world in such creative ways. This is a keychain that looks like the muggle-worthy switch on Newt Scamander's suitcase. This was made by a company called Tiger in a Tornado, and it has a little Hufflepuff crest on the button up at the top, which is very cute. They do at least one Hogwarts house customized item in every box, which I think is really wonderful. So I can attach this to one of my suitcases the next time I go to a Harry Potter convention and I am very excited about it. The next thing I see in here is a Swooping Evil Venom Salt Soak. They've had a lot of really interesting bath products in their boxes lately, and I just think it's so wonderful. It's peach lavender and tea tree scented, and this was made by a company called Love Good Bath Potions. Let's see what's next. Oh. <laughs> so the next thing I grabbed out of here is a Thestral enamel pin from Oddman and Tweak, who I met at LeakyCon. They had a booth there. I had never heard of them before, and I think their pins are absolutely beautiful. They're just so detailed and lovely, and I also really like their packaging. The metallic details are really cool. There's also a t-shirt in here. So this shirt is an Accio Box exclusive from the Protego Foundation. They have their little logo on the back of it, which is very cute. Their shirts are also really soft and good quality. Just straight up unisex t-shirts are usually not my first choice, but I really like to wear all of the, this is one that actually came from another box that I got from them. I really like the shirts that they print on. And I think there's only one thing left in here. And the last thing in here is an art print. There were four different designs with different magical creatures on them and I got the Niffler. The designs were inspired by vintage travel posters so this one says explore deep caverns with the Niffler nature's treasure hunters I just love that they make the wizarding world feel so real with all of their products they take things that exist in the wizarding world and change them to make them into something that like I would actually use if you would like to sign up for an Accio box subscription or maybe you could even gift it to someone this holiday season go to accio.box.com and remember that you can use my code Lauren Fair WX for 15% off your first box in a month-to-month -month subscription thank you so much to Accio box for sending me this and in the comments below I would love it if you could tell me what your favorite magical creature is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon!